Presented by Ventura Water, Water Take One is an online short film contest that takes a look at our relationship with water, how we look at it, how we use it, how we share it, and on Thursday, March 24, 2016, in celebration of World Water Day, the fourth annual Water Take One Online Short Film Contest Awards was held on a soundstage at Brooks Institute to an enthusiastic crowd who enjoyed a cocktail reception and a special screening of the award-winning films. Water Take One's mission is to really communicate the value of water and to do it in layman's terms as well as visual images that make sense to people who aren't part of the water industry. Contests like this are so important because we want to communicate to everyone the value of water and what it means. And so right now we're in a drought, but even when we're not in a drought, we have to continue to reinvest in our water resources so we have it for many generations. Water Take One's Rachel Shapiro shared what's new about the contest this year. This year we made a concerted effort to reach out to other water agencies and bring on partners from other cities, particularly cities that have population that is in the entertainment business and might have a fair amount of a short film. So we worked with the City of Santa Monica's Office of Sustainability and the Environment and we created a Santa Monica Vision Award and that is going to a film that best embodies Santa Monica's uh, agenda and message for their community. Rachel mentioned the contest receives online film submissions from around the globe and she spoke about some new partnerships one which was very interesting was with something called the Mobile Film Festival. And that is an online film festival similar to ours, but all the films are shot on mobile phones and they're less than one minute. And the Mobile Film Festival this year had a partnership with the UN specifically to target environmental films. So we worked with them on all the films that were submitted to their festival that were particularly about water. As we all know, out here in California, as much as the rest of the world, water is such a precious resource. Um, in fact, 2% of all water on Earth, which is barely anything, is available fresh water. So we don't have a lot to work with. Plus, out here, we've been just beaten over the head for about four or five years now with just drought messaging. We've had all sorts of conserve water. Oh, well, you know what? I'm doing my best. Uh, you know, you got to do better. And people have drought fatigue, is what I like to call it. And so what we decided to do is try to figure out a way to promote a drought message, get people to conserve, but do it with some comedy. Brooke Institute's provost, Tina Johnson, talked about the Institute's association with Water Take One. Our whole curriculum here is about helping people to understand the visual art. We teach our students here how to really take that image, that identity, and be able to capture it in such a way that it can be shared across the world. We would like to do things here at Brooks where we do give back to the community. We've hosted this event uh, previously in the past. I think that it's a really good event and a very good contest. really kind of brings the concept and awareness back to everybody. So we're just glad to be a part of it. Brooks has been a part of this community and surrounding communities for over 70 years. We just want to continue to do what we can to help and assist. Water Take One juror Greg Reitman talked about how he works in judging a film. At the end of the day, we're all filmmakers, and it's really just about the craft. So, you know, the first thing obviously I'm looking for is creativity. You know, the idea, you know, behind creating the story. And then obviously the second thing, which is most important, is what's the story? You know, it's not just shooting images, but what are you trying to convey? And then the third thing, which is like, you know, that composition of like how they convey that message and, you know, what are they, how, what are they using? And like for me, it's always like the spark, like what was that inspirational moment that drew me in? to the content that I always look for. Heading into its fifth year, the Water Take One online short film contest aims to elevate the value of water by inviting filmmakers from across the globe to submit short films less than five minutes in any genre, animation, comedy, documentary, drama, experimental, or sci-fi that address the topic of water. 48 films from around the globe were entered this year and the award ceremony showcased the top nine water-focused finalist films, followed by the winners. The Audience Choice Award, sponsored by Nossman LLP, was given to Mustafa Bengernaut for his film Unsafe Water. Mustafa won an iPad 2, which was voted on at watertake1.com by a global audience.
the award for Best Student Short Film, co-sponsored by Corolla Engineering, Hopkins Groundwater, and Kennedy Jenks Consultants, was given to Sinyi Loki for her film Water is Life. Sinyi won a GoPro camera. The Santa Monica Vision Award, sponsored by the City of Santa Monica Office of Sustainability and the Environment, was given to Madeline Pryor for her film, The Value of Water. Madeline won a cash award of $500. The Ventura Vision Award, sponsored by the Crown Plaza Ventura Beach, was given to Charles Spragans for his film, Good Stewards. Charles won a cash award of $500, and he will be showcased on an upcoming segment of Sustainable Ventura News. And the Grand Jury Prize winner, presented by Ventura Water, was awarded to the City of Palmdale for their film Danny Trejo, Conservation Enforcer. Filmmakers Mike McNutt and Vinnie DeLuca were on hand to accept the cash award prize of $1,500 on behalf of the city. I asked Ventura Water GM Shauna Epstein and Craig Jones, Management Analyst and Public Information Officer, what they hoped attendees at tonight's event and everyone who views the online film submissions at watertake1.com will take away with them. We hope that people will take away an image, a thought of something that really is meaningful to them about water so that they can serve at home or they think of something to invest in to really help someone else about having clean water. Well, the takeaway from a contest of this nature is sim simply, as we stated in our fall launch, collaboration. It gives people an opportunity to come together to talk about everything that's going on. And ultimately, we make, in, in the public sector, we make a lot of handouts, a lot of brochures, um, but this is a personal way of interfacing and networking and talking and really coming together to integrate and realize that we're in this together and really to capitalize on everything that's going on and learn from one another, projects and the things that we can do collaboratively to be sustainable for the future. We're in a drought and it's not just us, the whole global system is changing so the fact that we get uh, films submitted from all over, not just from Ventura, kind of brings that global perspective that we're not just in this alone. And uh, good ideas, awareness, it all, it, it's, we're all working together on this and that's what's good about it. For more information on Water Take One, visit VenturaWater.net and search Water Take One. SustainableVentura.tv for a better tomorrow.